Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I am going to get into a video on what websites should you take a look at when you're learning how to code. What type of boot camps and so on should you look at. Now obviously I'm going to mention YouTube, my videos specifically. Um, check out my coding channel. It's a channel purely for coding videos and some networking videos, but mostly coding videos. So if you're not already there, subscribe to it, but those videos will be uploaded here too, to the main channel, depending on which one you're looking at, and subscribe to either one, or both. But as far as websites goes, let's take a look at this. So the first one out of three is Free Code Camp. Now as far as this goes, it is a complete free program, and I, I'm going to give a quick shout out is to Engineered Truth. This I, I just, really suggest checking out this channel. I have a card up top also a link down in the description to their channel. But basically they go off and interview people who work in a given field or, or used to work in a given field. Marketing, sales, engineering, software engineering, st stuff of this nature. And they ask, what do you do? Which is a major thing. A lot of people don't simply think they know what the job calls for in reality. Um, it calls for something else. Um, and you'll find with these a, a lot of people who, who he interviews says something like that. But um, how did the person get a job and stuff of this nature? The latest video was by the person who actually made this. It's highly interesting. Um, I highly suggest you check that out. So if you've seen that, then skip ahead. But um, basically, you can go to this site for free. You link up your, I, I suggest just linking up your GitHub profile, um, and they really suggest that you have a GitHub. And it's one thing that I've been trying to push on people from day one to get a GitHub account, upload all your code to GitHub. I don't care how crappy it is, upload it there. And um, it, it's just that companies, specifically recruiters, just need to see that you can write a line of code. There's a lot of people who apply for jobs, who, who apply to sales, to marketing, to whatever, who never done a single day of it. Might have went to school for it, or might have worked under someone else, but actually don't know how to do a job. Coding, uh, and, and thing is, sales and whatever, fine, you can get someone else. The coder itself, the coder, is the machine. If the machine is not acting right, then the whole company's hurting. So it's very important to note that the person knows how to code. Well, that's a major thing. That's that's one one thing I like about this. But they uh, the thing's completely free, and how it works is basically you go through the program, and once you get to a certain point, they'll try to help you get a job. The problem I have with this is, not that, but the problem I have with the website is that it's mostly text-based. And for me, it, where it's easier for me to learn by videos, it's it's um, harder for me to learn from this, given that I am learning this. This is kind of basic level. Um, what, what, they're, what I'm showing here, but it gets a little bit more advanced in, in the upcoming sessions. But um, this is fairly important to note that because if you're like me and you learn by video, then it might be better f for you to do this plus uh, YouTube videos, this plus something else, and uh, that way it helps you out quite a bit. And if you got questions on anything that you see on here, um, they have ways where you ask other people. Ask them, but also feel free to ask me, and I'll try to take a look at the stuff and try to help you out as best I can. I might even make a video showing you how to do it so, um, if, if you guys want. But um, as far as that goes, the as far as the recruiting part of it, um, how does it work with the um, the making money? Well, what they do is they will try to get you a job, and like any recruiter, a company pays a small amount, which is fairly normal for those you don't know. Basically, let's say you get a hundred thousand dollar job, the recruiter himself will get say five thousand uh, dollars. The the recruiting company and the usually the recruiter itself. Will get like a thousand dollars. Well, that money, uh, I don't know how much they get or any of that because usually that's different per company and, and I don't really care. But um, that money goes to the website itself. And then after it gets to a certain point, 
then they start helping you out with that. So the, basically, you prove yourself through actually doing the work on a website. So it's, it's worth to note that. Now, as far as that goes, um, again, the video stuff might be added later, but a place that actually has that now, but, it, but uh, you do have to pay for it, is Team Treehouse. Now, with Team Treehouse, I use it quite a bit. It's, it's um, a great way to actually learn things in a flash. Um, Linda versus this, I'd say Treehouse because it's very particular on what, what you're doing with. Um, Linda's fine, but you kind of have to know exactly what you're looking for. Tr um, the treehouse stuff you don't really know the to like like say for example if um you're dealing with something with linda you might have to look at one video on how to do buttons then another bit video how to do something else or if this it just gives you all everything that you need to know in one format and pro probably multiple videos but still in one format now, if you want to check this out, I have a code, a referral link, and uh, feel free to check it out. Feel free to use that referral link. That should, I think it gives you a discount and gives you some extra time on your trial or whatever. I, I, I'm not exactly sure what it does, but uh, go ahead and use that. And um, if you like it, go for it. If you don't, you know, it's whatever. But um, I, I like it. And, and one thing I... I kind of like about this is um, Android, iOS and stuff uh, like this you'll find that the landscape changes quite a bit so uh, for example with iOS I know some developers who made a camera application for an iPhone and um, Swift changed so much over years that the uh, their code doesn't work anymore and uh, so, so that means the, the uh, their camera application doesn't fundamentally work. I found personally as an Android coder, I found the exact same thing with um, Android. Is, is the stuff changes so much over time and this is a pretty good way at um, getting basic knowledge and they try to keep things up to date uh, all the time. So as far as that goes, um, and we have the Code Academy. Oh, uh, one thing I want to mention with the uh, Treehouse and the Code Academy is both of them have these degrees. Um, Treehouse is tech degree. Code Academy is like nano degree or some weird crap like that. Don't get them. They're uh, complete ways. Why? Um, these All these projects I'll recommend uploading to your GitHub as you go through it. Again, it's not about how good your code is. It's about can you write a line of code? Many recruiters just want to know, can you write a line of code? Um, and then how good are you at writing a line of code is the second part because a lot of people simply just cannot write one line of code or doesn't have one line of code to show for anything. It's fairly important. Now, um, and, and most people won't even go this far. They would say, oh, I know how to code, and they figured out they'll learn it as they go through. Like you do on many jobs, and it's fine. If you want, if you want to go to manufacturer, I can guarantee you that you're going to be trained on every single thing that you're going to touch. Um, HR, so on, same thing. You're just going to be trained the entire way through, unless if you're going in there as a senior level. Coding is completely different. They expect you to know from day one and going on. Um, obviously, there's exceptions in there. But anyways, Code Academy, it's free and everything. But the problem I got with them is the uh, actual stuff they have to learn is lackluster. There simply just isn't enough there to do, to do anything. With the uh, one that I was checking out the most is the free Code Camp. One thing I like about them is they have communities. They have online communities but they also have local communities and for those of you who don't know I live out in Podunk nowhere uh, 15 minutes one way 15 minutes another way to Walmart I go on 55 mile an hour I got farm over there farm over there I'm on a farm I mean it, it's middle of freaking nowhere on purpose because I don't like people well, the fact is, is there's communities that are trying to start in some of the local areas, which kind of shocks me because the fact is, is you, I just simply don't see that uh, with my own eyes. 
that uh, there's actual people like that here and it's, it's really good to note that going through their entire list there's a lot of remote areas where people are just trying to start communities uh, Facebook communities or other communities to bring people together so um, you can do face-to-face -face meetups you can um, help each other out maybe make a company to, together do, do a few things but there is actual communities that is the major keystone with this entire thing so as far as that goes um again i recommend going with this first but check them all out so again i got a referral link here so it's no harm uh going through there making the free accounts and uh and just cancel it the day before that uh you uh you actually need to pay for it it's no harm in that but uh as far as that goes if you got any questions, anything else, then please feel free to leave that in, co in the comment section below and I'll try and answer it as quick as possible. If you run into any problems with any of these, let me know and I'll try to help you out. But uh, please like, subscribe, share, and whatnot. And see you next video. And check out my main channel or the uh, coding channel, depending on which one you're on. Hope you have a great day.